people who arrived in the UK between 1948 and 1971 from the Caribbean are now known as the Windrush Generation. And that's after the shape of the same name, which brought workers to help fill post-war UK labor shortages. As part of Black History Month, and in answer to questions posed by various schools across Bristol, we worked with Actors Malcolm X Elders Group, comprising of women from the African Caribbean community, to record stories about their experiences. Oh, we moved from Jamaica because we get the call. There was the call from the British government to all the Caribbean islands, I think it's most of the Caribbean islands, come to England, we need you. We need nurses, we need people to work in all different industry. Ladies, come with what experience you got, there's plenty of work. Men, bring your tools because we need to build roads and houses. And then, it's England. We hear about England all our life. We were British citizens. So we said, why not? So a lot of people came long before me. But um, when I came, I was all right. Back in the 50s and 60s, you were all young girls, living the life back home. We used to hear about England a land of opportunity and a better place. And we thought the street were paved with gold. <laughs> but the reality, when we got here, the street is paved with snow. <laughs> <laughs> we used to dream about all the work, all the money, and all the opportunities. And then they said, come, come over and work for us. We need you. And the arms was open wide. In the 50s, when England was just opening up for us, most people had traveled by boat. Because that's the only form of transport they could travel by to come to England. Um, my husband that came 59, he came by boat. But for me, things, plane company started to realize Oh, if we do passenger plane to Jamaica, which they usually do, but it's for a different reason, we could um, bring them in by plane instead of boat. And I, lucky enough, to come on the plane. <laughs> Cold, snow, frost, fog, never see all that before, so it was a lot of difference. The biggest difference that I've noticed, because I came in the summer, so it wasn't cold, were the houses that they were joined together. And of course, high ones as well, because we didn't have many high buildings in Jamaica at the time. And, and dull as well, because in Jamaica they were painted and bright. <laughs> Where's front gardens? Where's the beautiful hanging baskets? They look just like the Balaclava barracks back home. <laughs> <laughs> the houses are dull. They are gray. Where are the bright colors? 
They need painting. Mm. Yes. Are there houses? There's all the high. Are there houses or factories? So much fab and smoke. Are those houses or factories? Mm. Wow. Wow. Look at the people. They have on so much clothes, pink jacket and coat. They look like Eskimos. <laughs> <laughs> look outside. And the street. And the pavement. It's snow everywhere. And those people, they're just slipping and sliding everywhere. Where is the light? It's only half past two. And it's dark. <laughs> Good grief. What, what have we never said before? <laughs>
is nibbly, I would say, but um, they just kept asking questions. The children just kept asking questions because uh, we were very few black children. I, the matter of fact, there was only two of us in the class. Yeah. And um, they kept asking questions about my hair, where did I come from, did I have did I have houses like this in England? Did you know what does what did I play with? You know things like that. They ask. Well, this morning we've got a new student, and her name is Match. So I'd like you to make her welcome and show her the ropes. You know. So I'm just going to get the um what you need to be doing today yes, miss. Uh, and i'll be back in about okay miss. okay miss we look Thank after you, her miss. you better yes we look we'll after her we will we will look after her so well come and sit down Madge. don't be shy <laughs> so your name is Madge. where did you come from where are you from how oh, long you been here yes oh i took about mouth morning Madge. We are looking after you. I'm Hyba. What? What an attitude does she have? Oh, did you come up here too? Ha uh ha. -huh. come from? <laughs> I think it's Jamaica she come from, you know. Martin? Yeah. Did you come from Jamaica? Ah. Is it nice there? Oh, did you reach here? Yes, yes. son. I flew. Oh, <laughs> she flew like a bird. <laughs> I heard you don't have water in your country. Is it true? <laughs> no, they don't live in a house, they live in a tree. <laughs> anyway, much. I like your like hair. hair. So oh, I, I, like I like your hair. Leave me alone! I like your hair. I like your hair. I like your hair. I like your hair. trying to make friends with you. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone! And um, because in Jamaica, we do not go to bus stops. We wait anywhere along the roadside for the bus. And when we see it coming, we just flag it down. Hmm. Like, the NHS was good. That like, working as a young, young woman, you know, in the hospital, it was different. You know, we have a matron and that, we think the matron, they were really, you know, and they had to watch you every, every move you make. And your you, you hat got to be really stiff and starchy. Your apron got to be stiff and starchy. <laughs> and you've got to wear uh, black tights, black shoes, shoes without noise. <laughs> you know, you've got to be really, and you had to be really comfortable with the kids and, and lovely. But then, at the same time, you know, we used to giggle a lot. Because when they're coming, we would go, oh, matron is coming, matron is coming, matron is coming. <laughs> and we had to be on our guard. <laughs> if not, we'd get told off. And then they would say, Nurse Davis, you're not supposed to be on that bed with that um, child. You're supposed to be downstairs or upstairs or, you know, that's how they go. <laughs> We had to work in the NHS. When I started in the NHS in the 60s, 70s, it was very hard for us as a black nurse because it's like we have to work very hard to approve ourselves, to show that we could even, that we could do the job. Even when we know that we've done the job to the best of our ability, you know? somebody would come and say that's not so that shouldn't do that way or that way but we really had to work very hard to prove ourselves that we could do the job Oh, 
complain, we can't answer back. The poor man, the poor man, he was the sack. Oh, for me, the Israelites. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Come here to help the whole English nation. Why don't you look at that qualification? Oh, for me, the Israelites. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. For me, the Israelites. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Come here to help the whole English nation. Why don't you look at that qualification?